Welcome. I'm Dan Rahill, Managing Director with Wintrust Well Services and past chairman of the Illinois CPA Society. At the Society, we put together this series of eight short videos on the CARES Act, monumental COVID-19 relief package. This is the fifth installment of our eight videos, and today we're going to be talking about the corporate tax provision changes under the CARES Act. So let's just jump right in to net operating losses. The CARES Act allows net operating losses previously not allowed to be carried back, only forward. It allows them to, for losses beginning in 2018, 2019, and especially 2020 to be carried back for five years. It also suspends the 80% taxable income limit until 2021. So now the full loss can be utilized. This enables corporations and individual significant planning options. It allows them accounting method changes to increase losses in, into, a, in, into 2018, 2019, or 2020. It allows them to convert deductions if you're a corporation from a current 21% tax rate and carry it back to 35% tax years, which are pre-2018. Uh, this rate arbitrage has to be modeled and balanced against immediate cash flow needs, but it's a great opportunity to accelerate future deductions through um, accounting method changes or just accelerate them by paying them and in moving them from 2021 into 2020 and then making them eligible to be carried back to free up cash tax that has been previously paid. Again, as I said, it applies to individuals as well. They can also carry back their losses for five years. Excess business losses related. Pre prior to the CARES Act, any loss in excess of $500,000 arising from a business was non-deductible. It just carried forward as an NOL. Pre-CARES pre pre Act, uh, they were denied, they carried forward, and that rule applied for losses in 2018 through 2025. And they again, they moved and, and became NOLs that carried forward. What the CARES Act does is it shifts the applicable date of this limitation to 2021 and 2025. Therefore, losses in 2018, 2019, and 2020 are no longer subject to a $500,000 cap, and they are now eligible to be carried back as net operating losses that we just discussed. Interest deduction limitations. Currently, there's a 30% limitation on interest deductions by a corporation. The CARES Act increases that to 50% for 2019 and 2020, allowing more interest to be deducted. This just applies to corporations if the revenue exceeds $25 million. Another recent change uh, enacted at the end of 2017, effective for 2018, was AMT credit refund. That tax act did away with the corporate AMT, alternative minimum tax. Many corporations had AMT carry forwards, and that act allowed them to amortize and receive those, take credit for those credit, credit carry forwards over a four year period, 18, 19, 20, and 21. This act, the CARES Act, allows them to take the entire credit in 2018 or spread it over 2018 or 2019. Qualified improvement property, what is it? It's improvements to the interior portion of an existing building that is non-residential real property. A glitch in the prior tax act made that sort of improvement 39 year property and not eligible for bonus depreciation. Again, not eligible to be written off in a current year. What this act has done is it's changed that so that any qualified improvement property is now able to elect bonus depreciation. They can currently deduct it. They can go back and amend 2018's tax return. They can generate NOLs and they can carry it back. Again, the definition is very broad. Almost any improvement to a building interior owned or lease is eligible for this bonus depreciation. And finally, the last corporate tax change by the CARES Act has to do with charitable contributions. Previously, charitable contributions were limited to 10% of taxable income. That has now been increased to 25%. Excess contributions above that can be carried forward over the next five years. The contributions must be paid in cash, but if they are for food inventory, 
that limitation has been increased from 15% to 25% of taxable income. Those are the corporate tax changes in our CARES Act. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for module number six. Thanks.